Hi there YouTube, Mark Vergeer here. It's October, oh, is it October, it's not October, it's August 8th and I've just received the package and I thought it would be nice to, uh, to unbox it and show you what's in it and it's actually a retro game package and it is, it is supposed to be wrapped very well uh, there's, there's actually a, a parcel coming from Germany with a console in it uh, and I'm still waiting for that and in the meantime I have this and this is actually from the Netherlands and it's a whole shitload of games show you the prizes, or tell you the prizes. Like so! Okay, it's a combination of retro games and it's a combination of new games and uh, new items. So I thought it would be very nice to show them all. And what did I get? I, of course, got an original 3DS XL power adapter. This thing didn't come with a power adapter. Uh, it says so in this uh, yellow sticker. <laughs> and I do hope to God that when they uh, bring the D uh, 3DS XL out in the States, that they are smart enough to... <laughs> to to uh, include a, a power adapter because <laughs> I just think it's that that is just freaking insane. I think this cost me nine or ten. Let me see. Oh, nine ninety nine for a freaking power adapter. Insane, but yeah, I'd like to go for complete. So a power adapter, three DS, three DS XL, original power adapter, nine ninety nine. And what else did I get? <laughs> I got uh, Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus, The Uprising, and this I got for fif 15, 15 uh, euros, and it is supposed to come with a stand. A stand for the console. I'm not sure how it works, but a, a stand for a console. And basically, this this works for the uh, for the regular uh, console, and it comes with the game, including the cart and the manual, and a whole shitload of cards, of course, because this game comes with playing cards. Oops. And the uh, seller um, actually made sure that all the, the cards were complete. So, yeah, very interesting how that works. But uh, cards are included, the stand is included, and the game is included. And I thought, you know, since I got the 3DS XL, and I'm actually getting more into 3D gaming, I thought it would be very nice to... Uh, have Kid Icarus Uprising. So yeah, that's a new one. And then another one. And this is a brand new game. And this is this was more or less full price. Let me see what was this. This is... Uh, oh, I'll show you. Freak. <laughs> Freaky Farms Deluxe. It's some sort of drawing. Um, it's some sort of drawing game that you can you know, that that gets you to, that 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 allows you to animate your drawings and stuff. Uh, let me see what did I pay for this? I paid thirty euros for this, so this is pretty much full price. But thirty euros for this, and um, yeah, it's it's basically animating your drawings in a colorful world, and uh, yeah. I saw a small video of that and uh, yeah, it really st struck a chord with me. So uh, yeah, 
Freaky Forms Deluxe, Your Creations Alive. And uh, yeah, looking forward to testing, trying that out. And, and then uh, some doubles perhaps and some new ones. This was a lot. Um, I got uh, a NES game, including a sleeve, which is Rad Gravity. It's an Activision game. And uh, yeah, it says the adventures of Rad Gravity made in Japan and uh, this is the PAL release but I'm playing this on a NTSC top loader or uh, FC twin NTSC top loader so uh, so yeah rad gravity for the NES <laughs> I have no idea uh, if it is a good game or not but I just love the uh, I just love the cover art let me see if it will zoom it's some sort of astronaut with an Elvis uh, Presley hairdo, uh, <laughs> totally obnoxious, uh, totally obnoxious proton smile, asshole, astronaut. Perhaps it's nice. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, what else? A Super Nintendo game. It was a loose card, but I thought, you know, let's go for it. I played this a lot on the Commodore 64, and I thought, well maybe very cool on uh, the SNES. I, 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 wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware of this being uh, out actually for the, uh, for the SNES, SNES. And that's Spin Dizzy. Spin Dizzy. And Spin Dizzy, I paid for this, I paid $9.99. Spin Dizzy, well, 10 euros. Could have been less, but you know it's. Uh... What else? <laughs> a brand new, unopened copy of Millennium Soldier, or otherwise known as Expendable. Um, it's a great shooter, and I think I already owned this or own this on the PlayStation, but it's out on the Dreamcast as well. So. Millennium Soldier Expandable on the Dreamcast. And this is a sealed copy. And what did I pay for this? $4.99. 4 dollars for a sealed copy, unused, of Millennium Soldier. It's out on the PlayStation. There's a version for the PC out there as well. And it's a third person perspective, top down, uh, dual analog shooting frenzy that is very, very nice. Excellent game, produced by Rage. Infogrames, yeah, looking forward to, uh, to playing that. And what else? <laughs> okay, a PlayStation 2 game. It's a racer. These damn stickers, I have to get them off. So, it's driving Emotion Type S. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a Squaresoft game, so it might include some RPG elements. A Squaresoft racing game, can you imagine? <laughs> uh, so, S driving emotion type S, and it, and it sports the BMW on the front. So, what is it about? Driving sensation already in the next generation. Uh, and this is a very early game, I think. Uh, it came out in 2000, 1997, 2000. Um, one of the earlier games for PlayStation, I think. Climb on board for the ride of your life behind the wheel of a selection of the most awe-inspiring sports cars on the planet. Test your nerves to the max on world-famous racing circuits like Suzuka in Japan. Experience an unparalleled level of realism with a a sights, sounds, bumps, scrapes and battle to the metal a a competition. Drive your emotions to the limit. Driving Emotion Type S. Drive some of the world's most exciting cars using real physics data, technical specifications and dimensions with real-time lightning. Lighting, of course, you must have lightning. I have, a, I have a thing for thunder and lightning. Famous manufacturers include Alfa Romeo, BMW, Ferrari, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Porsche, Subaru, Toyota and TVR. <laughs> Full car setup, adjustment for suspension, gears, brakes, engines, and many other parts. So it's more of a driving simulation than a 
arcade racer per se. It comes with the disc and the manual. Let me see what the disc is all about. Oh, well, the disc is in pristine condition, but it's actually one of these blue ones, so it, it actually is a CD. Yeah, it says compact disc, so yeah, some of the PlayStation 2 games came out on, hey, and it says Electronic Arts as well. Distributed by Electronic Arts, Squaresoft, strange combinations. Um, yeah, it comes on, DV, uh, on CD. Okay, uh, what did I pay for that? Driving in Motion Type S, what did I say? $6.99, so still quite a good deal, I think. And then some, I think these are, yep, yeah, these are Mega Drive games. Uh, I did not own this yet, or I think I did not own this, and that's Shadow of the Beast for the Mega Drive. And it comes with a wee willy winky intact, and it's a bit dusty, <sighs> or it's my allergies kicking up. Uh, it's dusty, it's dusty as hell. So that's why I'm sneezing. <coughs> so, Shadow of the Beast by Psygnosis, distributed by Electronic Arts. Shadow of the Beast. Shadow of the Beast, and it comes with a manual, and it comes with a registration card, and it comes with a poster. Oh wow, this is, this is interesting. It comes with a poster. And it, and it looks like this poster has never been unfolded. Oops. Let me see, I'm, I'm not the best at, at unfolding posters, but... Ah, F-22 Interceptor. A poster of F-22 Interceptor, Electronic Arts. And it comes with uh, all sorts of games that are out there. and. It looks like it has just been it had just, just been printed. It's yeah, it's like I'm the first one to actually unfold this poster thing. And now ah, I'm able to to put it back. Uh, yeah, posters and maps, I'm not very good at <laughs> doing that those. Uh, it comes with a manual. And it comes with a weird electronic arts uh, cartridge with a y weird yellow ta uh, yellow tab, which which al always makes me wonder why why do you do that yellow tab thing? But I guess it's to make the, ga the games recognizable. What else? Dynamite Duke, without the wee willy winky, just as dusty, and it's a 16-bit cartridge, Dynamite Duke. And, uh, oh, what did I pay for Shadow of the Beast? Shadow of the Beast was $6.99. Okay. And this is Dynamite Duke. Dynamite Duke with a mean looking character. And it comes with a manual. <laughs> and a Dutch translation of the English manual. Very weird. It's not an official one that this is, has been put in by the user. With the cartridge, and the cartridge is looking clean. The case is a bit dusty. So what did I pay for a Dynamite Duke? Dynamite Duke cost me $4.99. So, what else? Risky Woods. Risky Woods. Risky Woods. This looks like a very nice platformer. I didn't have this yet, and it really looks like a very nice platformer. Uh, Electronic Arts game again. And it only comes with the carts. With this strange little tab. The cart is looking in good condition. So, what did I pay for Risky Woods? Risky Woods cost me $4.99. I'm in search of a manual for Risky Woods, so if anybody has a manual, uh, yeah, I'm interested. Risky Woods. And why did I get it? Well, basically, <laughs> also because of the cover art. I just love that cover art, so not bad, not bad. 
And then a game that I think I owned, it, it cost me $4.99. Or $4.99. And that's the game of Blockout. Blockout, also an Electronic Arts game. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have been avoiding buying Electronic Arts games, but this is from an era where Electronic Arts still was very good, but Blockout. It comes with a manual and that weird, 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 weird yellow tab cart and uh, oh, what did I pay for this and the, the case is shot it's I mean I've seen better condition cases but yeah it's it's I mean it's a case and if I stand it up like that it's okay 499 yeah it was on the sticker and then the last I think I owned this already uh, but it was cheap and it's a game that usually is quite expensive uh, at least in my neck of the woods and because it was cheap I thought let's go for it and it's a great game and that's Toki and Toki cost me $6.99 and it comes with a manual and the cards and the card looks in pristine no not pristine but very good condition Hardly any scratches or nicks nacks on the on the cart. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's whoops, it's very nice. The cases have seen better days. They 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 are a bit dusty. And this one comes without the tab. But yeah, so Mark's pickups and perhaps uh, I may might have showed you some gameplay footage uh, over there. Uh, over here. So, yeah. Uh, noise pickups and uh, Mark signing off and I'll be back with another video soon. Okay. Uh, let's terminate the recording.